Hello, we are into another session on fractions wherein we will be learning division of fractions and we will taking up word problems as, as well. But before taking up um, division of fractions, we need to understand the reciprocal of a given fraction. So we are first taking up reciprocal of fraction. What is reciprocal of a given fraction? Suppose there is a by b as a fraction, a by b. Reciprocal of this will be such that if you multiply the fraction, the reciprocal which I am calling, that gives you a 1. That means if I multiply a b by a, that would give me a reciprocal. So reciprocal is referred to I mean these two will then be reciprocal of each other. So two fractions when multiplied gives us one. Those two fractions are referred to as reciprocals of each other. See so either of A and B cannot be zero. In this case A cannot be zero as well B cannot be zero. You can also come across the term which is a multiplicative inverse for um, in, uh, in substituting reciprocal, the term reciprocal. So if I am given 4, the reciprocal of 4 will be 1 by 4. If I am given 7 whole, 1 by 3. First we convert this into improper fraction that gives us 22 by 3. And the reciprocal then becomes 3 by 22. Or if I am given 1 upon 7 or 1 upon 8 anything, like your yeah, reciprocal will then be 7. So this is the concept of reciprocal. This will be used while we learn the division. So we move on to another screen for learning division. Here in I take it up. Now when you are given two fractions like A by B supposed to be divided by C by D which is another fraction then what we actually do is we, mul the, we multiply the reciprocal of the division that means this is the division we multiply the reciprocal of the division which is D by C to the dividend. So the dividend remain as it is. We will reciprocate the division and multiply it to the dividend. Now let's see a few examples. Suppose you are given two fractions divided by 1 by 4. So in this case, we will reciprocate the divisor that is 1 by 4 by its recipro uh, and multiply it, sorry. So if I do so, we have learned previously how to, you know, multiply. So 2 multiplied by 4 gives us 8 divided by 5. I can write the answer in a mixed fraction. Okay. Now if I am given... 8 divided by 5, sorry, 8 by 5 divided by 2. I will be finding the reciprocal of 2, that is 1 by 2. So I can cancel this, I get 4, thereby giving us 4 by 5 as our answer. Let me take one more, one more in the sense I am taking with a mixed fractions. See, when you come across any question with mixed fraction, you simply will have to convert that into improper fraction that becomes 11 by 4 divided by 4 by 5 and then you continue as you have learned now the division by multiplying it with the reciprocal of the division and that's giving me 55 by 44. Now, Sorry, 55 by 16. Is it getting cancelled? I don't think. So let's convert this into mixed fraction. It's 316. And then I think I will be left with uh, 7. So it is 37 by 16. We'll now take up or see a question wherein we have multiplication as well as division in it and then solve it. 
we have to simplify this 2 whole 1 by 4 multiplied 2 3 by 14 and divided by 1 whole 2 by 7 now we do so by 2 4 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 9 by 4 multiply 2 3 by 14 and this db now the first step you can either take up with uh, converting this into an improper fraction that i think is giving me 9 by 7 and the next step we can convert this division into a multiplication and thereby finding the reciprocal that would be 7 by 9 I have 9, 9 that actually gets cancelled. Anything else? Oh, this was 14, I'm sorry. So this is giving me 2, thereby making it 3 by 8. Right? Now, anything we can, you know, we can take up one more such question maybe. I write it here. It's a small one. 5 by 8 multiplied to 1 whole 1 by 2 divided by 15 by 16. I'll need more space. So I'll just be moving it further. Now, again the same process as we did in the previous one. I'll convert this into an improper fraction that's giving me 3 by 2. And the same step, I'm converting this into the reciprocal that is 16 by 15. Now, if I cancel this, I'm getting a 3. This also gives us a 3. Here in I have 8. Oh God, I'm getting the answer is 1. Fine. Let's now take up a few word problems based on what we have learned. I'll just make some space here. Let me write down the first question. It says, a small one, find the area, oh sorry, find the area of a square Can we ignore it? That spelling, that uh, space in between, we're in S and Q. Each, sorry, each side is given to be three whole four by five centimeter. How do you find the area of a square? Each side is given to be L, so it is L square. We find the area to by L square. So this is our L which is 3 whole 4 by 5 multiplied to 3 whole 4 by 5. Let's convert this into improper fraction. I think I'm getting 19 by 5 multiplied to another 19 by 5. 19, 19 is 361 that I need know because of some knowing some square digits still certain value by 25 then you can express this into mixed fraction i'll do some rough work here 361 to be divided by 25 that's 1 1 1 1 so i think 25 did i do some mistake there no uh, i think 25 fours are 100 they were leaving me a remainder 11 so it will be 14 whole 11 by 25 is the answer we can take up a few more and we need some space right let me see question here Mr. Craft the art teacher had 
3 kg of flour. He used 2 third, 2 by 3 kg, not 2 third, 3 by 2 kg for some matching. And 3 by 8 kg for the clay. And one whole 5 by 6 kg for paste for 7 projects. Now how much flour is still left? Did he have left? Now let's add up how much he has used. Finding the total of total floor used. So we will be adding 2 by 3 plus 3 by 8 plus 1 whole 5 by 6 kg. So it is 2 by 3 plus 3 by 8 we need to convert 1 whole 5 by 6 into 11 by 6 right so we need to see the LCM and convert these fractions into like terms to do so let's find the LCM out here 3 8 and 6 I'm doing the division method so 3 4 3 Again, I'll take a 3. It's 1, 4, 1. So, 2, 3 is a 6. 6, 4 is a 24. Now, if I want to make 2 by 3 with the denominator 24, that means I'm multiplying a 8 here. They are buying doing, they are by doing the same thing in the numerator. If I do so, I'm getting 16 by 24. For the second one, I am getting 3 by 8 to be converted to a fraction with denominator 24. I am getting here again 3. So that becomes 9 by 24. And the third one which is 11 by 6 has got a 24 in the denominator. They were multiplying it by 4. I am doing here again the same thing that is 44. So we will be adding... 16 by 24 plus 9 by 24 plus 44 by 24. If you add all these, uh, you know, uh, numerator, sorry, just going to start there. I think 16 plus 9 is 25 and then 44 is giving me 69. This many have been used. So, how much is left? So, we will be subtracting this from the total flower. I will erase this part and do the subtraction here. Uh, subtraction requires 3, oh god, sorry, I didn't realize that, it is 3 kg to be, from 3 kg we subtract 69.24, again I need to give it a denominator with 24, to do so, I, if I'm giving 3 by 1, 2, I'm doing this rough task here. So that means I'm multiplying here with 24. So it is 72. So it is 72 minus 69 over 24. So that's giving me 3 upon 24 or 1 by 8 kg. So I'm left with 1 by 8 kg, not I am, 
Actually, the art teacher is left with 1 by 8 kg of floor after using all this given to us. I hope I did this right. And also the fact that you followed. We will be taking up a few more simplification and a few more word problems in the next video. Thank you.